Hello everyone, welcome to this new Touch Designer tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to uh, uh, know how to recreate this um, optical illusion by David uh, Rittenhouse. Uh, that is basically uh, this illusion that um, depending on how you hold the uh, book or the image, uh, these uh, are muffins they say like these are muffins or these are plates so if you rotate this image uh, it will invert the uh, illusion so i thought this was um oops sorry i thought this was uh interesting so to recreate so uh, let's see how to achieve it I'm going to pull this apart and we're going to start from scratch. So first we're going to go up one level to the project's container and we're going to change the height to uh, 1280. Then we're going to go to the look page and we're going to look at PG. Okay. Um, we're going to start first with the render network. So the basic uh, form we're going to use is a circle. This circle we can connect it then to a geometry. Then we can add a camera and a constant material. We don't need any light. So next we add a render top. This render top we go to the common page and change the resolution to parent parenthesis dot width and parent parenthesis dot height okay uh, we can change here to 3 to bit float then we add a transform and then we add a null this null is bg Oops, sorry, BG. And we then divide here the screen. We split it and change the uh, the right viewer to panel. So now we're good. By now. And the first thing, if we go back to the image, is that we can notice that, oops, sorry that to achieve this uh, illusion, we have a gray background. So that's why we have this uh, transform. So this transform, we're going to change it to like 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and this alpha to one and comp over background color, okay? So then, we need to uh, change here the divisions to 100 so we have a more uh, defined uh, circle and so the next thing is we need to uh, have this um, uh, this this is our canvas and we have this uh, kind of arrangement so the easiest way that we can do this is using a grid sub. So we can instance from these positions, the positions to the circles. So first also we need to add a constant and we're going to declare this variable tiles because we need that uh, the rows and columns will be always the same. Okay, so I'm going to add a null after this, and this will be exporting to rows and columns. Okay, then we can add a null, and from here we can add a sub to chop, and then again add a null. Um, null, change the name to pause. And now we can go to the geometry and go to the instance page, turn on instancing and uh, uh, and drag this uh, post of chop to translate operator. 
so we can instance tx and ty okay so there are instance but there are stacked that's that why is that that is because uh, some um uh, size for the circle the grid and so on so first we need to check to have our grid like the size for our canvas so this will be parent that width and i'm going to copy paste and change this to height now we have a very very big canvas but a very very uh, small circles so we need then to change this okay um so also to visualize this we need to change our camera to orthographic and ortho width will be parent dot width so to calculate the uh, size for the radius of the circle we need to uh, divide or parent width and uh, divided by these tiles so i'm going to copy from this and paste it here and the same for this uh, radius y so we need to change to height but uh, now we have the same problem we can visualize the circle studies because uh, as we have uh, we are calculating the radius and not the diameter we need to divide by two the width of the canvas so we divide it and also the height and now we can visualize them but we also we need to fix this crop um circles why is that that is because our camera is looking at our full uh, canvas but the first uh, point of this grid is here and we're instancing from the center of the of the sub circle so that is why we are looking like these are um, cropped so to add to fix that we need to add the value for the radius to this side and the value for the radius to this side and also it, it will fix the value for this radius so we can type here plus parenthesis op parenthesis dot op um, circle one circle one dot par dot rad x by two and now that is fixed as you can see they fit all well the whole canvas okay so next thing we can go is to add the texture so we need a ramp and this ramp we're going to combine it with a circle we're going to go to the output page and come with input on operation multiply finally we add a null and then this null we can drag it to the constant material and we can start seeing these uh, circles now we can go back to the ramp and change to vertical so we can have the uh, illusion we want then here on the circle the radius that works perfect for this illusion is 0 0.5 sorry 0 0.45 so now we start seeing some um, three-dimensional uh, in this two-dimensional image okay so also we can uh, well we need to add the rotation so we can see that some uh, circles will be like bumping and some circles will be like go to the inside of the image 
okay so to do that we need to add a noise we also can change this uh, ramp to resolution parent panel size so it will uh, help to visualize this okay um so we need to add a noise this noise will have this uh value for the resolution we change to nearest pixel and we use three to bleed float mono then we change to noise page and change to random and that's it we need to also use a mat because we need to round this value so so we need only one value or zero value and we can do that this with a mat using the integer to round we change the nearest pixel in the common page and that's it so we have zero and ones all over this image then we need to add another math because we need to multiply these values we need some values to be zero and some values to be flipped uh, 180 degrees so we need to multi add by 180 and change again here to nearest pixel and finally we add a null and this null will be root we go to geo and we drag it to the rotate o page and we select rotate c and now applying this you can start seeing that now we have this illusion uh, all almost done because uh, now we can change our tiles here and will we start seeing these patterns so oh, another thing we can add here is using a uh, noise so we can change the randomness of the pattern so add this noise chop we go to common select times noise on then we go back to noise and change to random amplitude we go to 0 0.5 and offset 0 0.5 so we have oscillating values from 0 to 1 then we add a hold after this hold we add a null that we can change name to seed and we add a panel this panel we going to select the select and connect it to the second input of the hold so now every time we click this select it will hold the value will be active when we click it so this will help us to change this um, noise seed and every time we click on the screen we will have a different pattern okay so yeah that's it uh, basically it's everything you need to to do with this um with this illusion so the thing is that the if you rotate here to 180 it will invert the position of the uh the bumping circles and the circles that go inside so if we go back zero it will be invert so that's a i think it's a funny uh, illusion very basic but funny um so that's it for every uh, for this tutorial and i'm going to uh, uh, leave this in the comments so you can download it if you are a patreon subscriber also we'll have some uh, extra tweaks of this patch uh, only for patrons um i want to thank all of my patrons that are supporting me and I will see you on the next uh, tutorial. Goodbye.